So tell us about your podcast. It has something to do with people as well. The Sulia Tut Ovet. 100%. How yeah. would you describe it's your podcast? What it is? Uh, ay, ay, ay. I think we're on to episode 14. The last one was with you, or 15, 16. You see, I don't even know. 18. Or 18. You see, you remember. So you take it more seriously than I do. Because uh, <laughs> I was born in 18th of... Ah, okay. September, okay. so the oh, number okay. kind of stood. Ah, okay. Well, thank you. I should have taken before I came. You see, I'm a very bad host. But um, it started. Well, actually, we talked about London Real, and that was when I backed in. When I was back in London, actually, that's when it started. So a long time, twenty years or so. And I thought that sounds good. I had no idea what a podcast was. I had no idea what it was. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. You know, you talk to people and then you're recording, and someone can listen to. That was. That's the idea I had of podcasts back then. Mm. And then just over the years, it just like went, oh, you know, maybe I should have one. I have no idea, blah, blah, blah. I don't have time, all the excuses. And then fast forward to a few months back, but already when we moved to Finland, I thought, okay, maybe that would be good to start something like a foreigner, in, you know, in Finland and talking about what it feels like, etc., etc. And then the COVID hit uh, mid-March, for us here in Finland, well, the lockdown kind of. And I thought, okay, maybe now is the time. Buy a mic and off you go. And the question over many years, like, oh, okay, what do I call it? I don't want my name on it. Like, you're not even like Romsky's podcast. Yeah, it's like Frenchy for those who don't speak Finnish. So like, mm. oh, no, I don't want that. And then the whole situation of the COVID being in lockdown reminded me of that play by uh, Sartre, uh, Wiklo, which is in Finnish, Julia Tudovet. Which is basically, and then the the the, the tag phrase is um, "Hell is other people, so l'enfer c'est les autres." So that's why I have this as the um, the logo, if you want, for the podcast. And I thought that's really what it is, because people were ending up being at home, stuck, quote unquote, stuck with their other half and the kids, and that's the only way to have feedback from for how you are through people. If that makes sense. Yeah. So. I was like, yeah, that's 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 gonna be the name. Yeah, and it's kind of cool that <coughs> Finnish Sulit David means closed doors, mm-hmm. and and in yeah. French yeah, yeah. it it meant something else. Well, it's, but it's linguistically uh, like it's it's a bit more uh, like a higher level of language if you want, because it was the name of the play, so he couldn't just put like closed doors. It's a bit too generic. Yeah. So we close. It means like really, it's actually a, a name that they use for movies mm-hmm. when there's just two people talking to the camera. That's a week close. It's like very controlled. And that's dialogue. why I like, you know, yeah, like dialogue, a control scene, if you want. Okay. It's almost like there's no one else, just these two protagonist mm. characters talking to each other and that's it. So you feel kind of... Um, and you have to make out your mind and understand the situation yeah, yeah, yeah. through these two Yeah, people. well, you have two people and then that's it, you know. So that's what I wanted. It's just two, two of us, close mm. the doors and then that's it. Mm. Just go ahead, because I've always, I think, yeah, I've always been interested in people. Why we are the way we are, why we do what we do, mm. you know? And we kind of mirror each other. Yeah, well, in some way, yeah. yeah. Well, they always say you do some of the five people who you hang around the most with. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Maybe two, three, maybe some of us like me, you just have like two people around you that you hang around <laughs> a lot. No, I'm kidding. In jiu-jitsu, it's plenty. <laughs> but it's just, yeah, I think I was interested into finding about human nature mm. again, you know? And then it's been debated over the years through many philosophies and philosophers. Sorry, is there actually human nature? Does it actually exist? You what know? do you think? I think, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What does human nature mean? Does oh, that's, it... that's, that's, that's a very, very good question. Yeah. I think a lot of the time people, we don't sit down and think about what it mm. means. 